This is Data Flywheel. If you want to create AI agents at scale, then all these components are must have. Starting with data processing, then model customization, that is fine tuning, then model evaluation, evaluating the fine tuned model, then guardrail, making sure only the expected response is returned, then information retrieval, that is rack pipeline with the enterprise data. So all these things together, is data flywheel. NVIDIA Nemo microservices solves this by using Nemo Curator, Nemo Customizer, Nemo Evaluator, Nemo Guardrails, and Nemo Retriever. These are the key highlights in regards to Nemo Customizer. It's 1.8 times faster post training. Nemo Evaluator, three times more reduction in APIs. Nemo Guardrails, 1.4 times higher safety compliance with minimal latency. It has a broad support across partner ecosystem. So here's an example. First production flywheel of the platform, that is knowledge assistant agent, that's an example. That is NV InfoBot. So here as a user, we are asking what are NVIDIA's data center revenues for the past three quarters and what factors contributed to its growth. Now the data retrieved is a private data. So all this data is embedded and store that in a database. Using Nemo Retriever, relevant data is being retrieved by searching the database and you get this data available here with all the sources. So multiple things go in the backend. Here is the info bot data flywheel architecture. The user is asking a question, then is routed to relevant experts, such as financial expert or holiday expert or NV info expert accordingly. It's rephrasing the queries, that is query decomposition. Then it's searching for the data in the database, that is embedding database, retrieving and re-ranking the retrieved data. Then the answer is generated with citations, then is returned back to the user. So that's what happening behind the scenes. To fine tune this further, we have Nemo Customizer, Nemo Evaluator and other tools. So behind this router, this NVIDIA customizer resulted in accuracy and latency, more accuracy and low latency. So even the small model is incomparable with the large model 70B in regards to accuracy. So here's query rephrased or query decomposition. And here's the result. The accuracy is higher for a small model after fine tuning that is using Nemo customizer. And I'm really excited about this. So in this, I'm going to take you through step by step how you can run this data flywheel code, which is available in GitHub on your own server and train it with the custom data, focusing on data processing and model customization. At the end, we'll be evaluating the model. As a result, the smaller model Llama 3 to 1 billion instruct achieves accuracy comparable to the much larger model Llama 3 to 3 70 billion instruct which can be used as AI virtual assistant. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Thanks to NVIDIA for sponsoring this video. So in this data flywheel blueprint, we've got two options. One is view source code. That's where it takes to GitHub and we have deploy on cloud. I'll put the link in the description for you to try that out. So in my case, I'm going to click this deploy to cloud. So clicking that, now it takes me to launchable. Then I can click deploy launchable. So in my instance, it will cost around $12 per hour because I'm going to use a much larger GPU. So clicking deploy launchable and that will automatically get our data flywheel setup ready. And you can open the notebook from here. You can also access that machine with various other ways. But for now, to keep it simple, I'm going to use open notebook. So here is the notebook, which clearly explains what's happening behind the scenes. Mainly, this can be used for AI virtual assistant for customer service, for product Q&A, order status verification, returns processing, and small talk and casual engagement. So here totally we are going to see four different steps. Data flywheel setup, load sample data, create a flywheel job, and monitor job status. So starting with data flywheel setup. So you can just click this play button to automatically run these cells. So as a first step, we are going to generate our API key by clicking this one. 
Once after you generate your API key, you can enter that here in the first cell and then click play. Then coming to the next one, this will automatically take you through the installation step. You don't need to do anything. Just click the play icon. It installs all the required Python packages as well, such as Elasticsearch, Pandas, Matplotlib. So in this, we are going to use Llama 3.2 1 billion instruct and then fine tune this model with our custom data. So this automatically starts the Nemo microservices. That's where you have Llama 3.2 1 billion parameter model and then a data store. Now step number two, load sample data. So this is the data set which we are going to use. You can see the data here, you are helpful support assistant for NVIDIA gear store. Your primary role is to assist the user to answer customer queries and providing more information. So in similar way, you can replace this with your own company information. Then there might be different question asked based on your product. So in regards to NVIDIA, so this is one of the question from the customer. I'm trying to return my CUDA T, but I'm not sure what's the procedure. And as a agent, there's a specific way that they need to respond for that particular question. So all that question and answer is available in this data set. So similarly, you can create this question and answering based on your custom data, based on your own company information. And then we are going to feed this data. That's where we have placed this data and train the Llama 3.2 model, 1 billion. And all the data set processing is being taken care of in this playbook. So it's just a matter of replacing this data set with your own data set. So once after that is done, the data will get loaded to Elasticsearch. That is one of the database. So step number two is completed. That is loading the data set, processing it. And the next step, create a flywheel job. So now in this process, we are triggering the model training. That is the custom data will be trained against the model. So that's what we are initializing in this step. The next step, we are going to monitor the job status. You can see here, it's processing the request and training the model, Llama 3.1. It's comparing against other models such as Llama 3.1 with the current trained model, Llama 3.2 1B instruct. And you can see the comparison here. Everything is already created. So in this notebook, even other models got trained just to see its comparison in regards to accuracy and latency. Smaller the model, it's easy to load that on an edge device or a smaller device and it'll be much more quicker. Larger the model, the processing is slower. So we are seeing the comparison by fine tuning all these three models and comparing. But just for, this is just for learning purpose. But if you're planning to do on your own company data, you could just remove this 8B and 3B and directly focus on 3.2 1B. Because we saw the answer that 3.2 1B instruct when fine tuned properly is much better than the 70 billion parameter model. That's what we are going to verify here. So all the evaluation happens here and you can see the comparisons as well, all in this notebook. Once the model is trained, we can use this model, train the model for AI customer service purpose. So here you can see that Llama 3.2 1B instruct model achieves accuracy comparable to a much larger version that is Llama 3.3 70B instruct while significantly reducing latency and compute usage. So that is the end result. Now you got a clear idea on how to perform this. Also one more advantage in regards to this is that you can customize your endpoints, API endpoints. You can even publish this internally, all the code available in GitHub, so that internally you can trigger this job using any type of custom data. And even if you got any new data updated, you can retrain the model by just calling the API endpoint, making it very simple. Do try and let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like this, I also created another video about scanning thousands of vulnerabilities using NIM. I'll put the link in there. I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.